The past 50 years have witnessed tremendous change. The villages are not isolated and secluded as they were 50 years ago. Thanks to new roads, bridges, rail tracks, and transport system, they have been interwoven into a more homogeneous unit. Adaptability to change is yet another feature of today's rural India. And these changes are not only adapted to lifestyles, but are even tailored to suit the rural requirements. No doubt, electricity has changed the lifestyles of rural India. Power failures apart, a large number of Indian villages do have electricity today. Electric poles have been erected and wires drawn across the length and breadth of the country. Even the remotest of Indian villages today enjoy the fruits of modern banking. While these banks assisted in replacing the traditional money lender and acted as catalysts of growth, no one expected such excellent savings habits from the villagers. The so-called conservative Indian farmers are managing modern-day tools with effortless ease and skill, which only comes with practice. There has been a huge green revolution sweeping the agriculture sector for the past couple of decades. The Indian farmer, using all techniques and tools, has been extracting five to ten times the yield from his land compared to what he was getting about three decades back. Additionally, he has also been cropping and reaping not one, but two to three crops every year. He may still be handicapped by natural calamities like flood and drought, but now these do not leave him defeated. With his untiring endeavor and sustained support from the government, the Indian farmer has been able to keep his aspirations afloat. If education has been a key to unlock the information boom, the reverse flow from increased information to improved literacy levels is also self-evident. The literacy growth has led from makeshift schools to larger buildings. And when even these have failed to accommodate the swelling number of students, they spilled out on the courtyards. But education continued nonetheless. Thanks to this increased awareness, the villager is now socially conscious and politically alert. He's not averse to closing ranks, be it on the basis of traditional caste system or on regional considerations. In order to disseminate power up to the last person in the democratic hierarchy, the age-old Panchayati Raj system, which had been cast aside in British India, has now been revised and revitalized. Where once elders of the village sat down to tackle various issues, now members of the Panchayat are duly elected and recognized by the Indian constitution. There has been a great change in my village, in agriculture as well as in culture. And this change is possible due to education, due to communication and due to electrification in my village. And this was done through us as we left the city and came to my village for this change. That in itself is probably the most emphatic statement establishing the degrees to which the face of the Indian village has changed. And this process continues. Yes, India itself is changing. For did we not say that India lives in its villages?